Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com. Welcome to a new vlog. <laughs> so a couple weeks ago now, we bought a milk cow. And we didn't think we'd do it so soon. We thought maybe wait till next year or even the year after just because we're so busy. Uh, but then Luke's cousin was selling one of their milk cows and she is pretty much the perfect beginner cow. And they gave us a good deal on her and we were like, you know what, let's just do it. So we went for it and we got a milk cow. Her name's Charlotte. She is an A2, A2 Jersey Brown Swiss Cross. And she is the sweetest thing ever. I'm just out here checking on her. Here's Charlotte. She's so affectionate. She doesn't have an aggressive bone in her body. And she is due to calve tomorrow. So I'm like keeping a close eye on her. Uh, a couple days ago I noticed her udder start to fill up. It was looking bigger. Today I noticed she's got a bunch of discharge. This is kind of TMI, but she's got a bunch of discharge. And that's a pretty big sign too. So I think we're I mean, probably within a couple days, her due date's tomorrow, so I think really any time we're gonna have a calf now. I'm so excited. Oh, good girl, Charlotte. I know. Oh, the flies are annoying, huh? I better get your fly spray. She's got one little stubby horn right here. It's pretty cute. I'm so attached to her already. Having a milk cow is just so much different than having like sheep. They just have such big personalities. They're like big dogs, like really. I've been practicing coming over here and touching her udder. I mean, she's super good milking this, and this is her like fifth or sixth calf. So I'm not worried about it, but I just want her to be used to me. She's such a sweetie. She just stands there for me, hey, honey. I'm so excited to just get started with milking. <laughs> I'm like nervous about doing it because I've never milked a cow before. So when we first moved into this property a couple years ago, I was so sad because there were no um, weeds on the property. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but a lot of weeds, weeds are medicinal. And I use plantain every summer if any of the kids or us get bee stings or wasp stings. I will just look around for plantain and find some and chew it up and put it right on there and it draws that straight out of there and it's amazing and it works so well but we we haven't had plantain here until this year uh, because the last people would spray for weeds so it's taken two years for the land to recover but this is the first year I've noticed that we have plantain we also have like mullein and like even like dandelions that we use for different things and I'm like so happy that I am finding all these medicinal plants now. So this is plantain, these long leaves. So this is, this is plantain. You can see all these ribs going all the way down, all the way down the leaf and it's a nice long leaf. This is plantain. This is what I would take and chew up and put on like a bee sting or a wasp or even a, like a spider bite. We've used this for hobo spider bites and it works really well. And it's got these um, like flower things on top. So this is what plantain looks like. If you've got any in your yard, you can start using it. So this room I've been working on, this is like um, our entryway, that's the driveway. This is where we come in. It's kind of like a weird situation where this is like a garage door and our front door is right there. So you have to come through this room. But anyway, I painted these walls because they were so dirty. I, I could not clean them no matter how, how hard I scrubbed them. It was like stained into the drywall. So I repainted them. And this is gonna be a refrigerator just for milk. So because this room is like kind of separate from the house, people can just come in the store, they can get their milk, they can leave 
jars on the shelves over here and they don't have to come in the house every time. So I think this is gonna be a pretty good setup. This is what I've got gathered up so far for supplies for her. We've got some big stainless steel milk buckets. I've got one big five gallon one that I'll kind of set off to the side. I'll milk into that littler one and then halfway through I'll dump it in the big bucket just in case she like puts her foot in it, it doesn't ruin the entire batch. Um, iodine, um, and then I'll also use this tea dipping uh, cup with the iodine. Um, rags, um, so I'll take like a pitcher out there with warm soapy water and clean her off with the rag, or I'll do the iodine first, clean her off with the rags and the soapy water, and then she'll be ready to milk. We've got a big strainer and filters to filter the milk. This is the fly spray I've been using for her. I just mixed up some cedar side. It's just like from cedar wood. Um, so all natural and it keeps the flies away pretty well. Um, I stopped by our vet and I got some calcium. So I will give her one when I notice she's in labor if I can catch it. And then another one for sure afterwards. So she'll have one or both of those. And that helps prevent um, milk fever. This is a selenium and um, it's got some other vitamins in it, but this is for the calf. Within 24 hours after it's born, selenium is so depleted in our soil here in Montana. So a lot of farmers around here do that. And it was only two bucks, so I did get that for the calf. I've got a big heavy duty pail here. I'll put her alfalfa pellets in this to eat while I'm milking her to, so she hopefully holds still. She seems, from what I've heard from the lady who had her before, is she seems to be a really good um, milker. She stands really well, so I'm not too worried about it. But we also don't have a stanchion quite yet, so for the first little while, um, unless she goes like super late and Luke's able to have it running on time, for the first little while, we'll be just like tying her to the fence and letting her eat her alfalfa pellets and milking her out in the pasture. So hopefully that goes well. I also have her brush brush here so I can brush her off before I milk so that nothing like falls off into the milk oh and then I also have um, an organic dairy cow ration that I'm gonna just give to her for the first week that'll help prevent ketosis anyway I got interrupted by some little kiddos um, but I was saying I also have molasses to put in some warm water for her for right after she gives birth to help get her energy back up and that does also help prevent any issues like ketosis. So I think I'm mostly ready. I just, the only thing that's still coming um, are jars. I ordered a whole bunch of half gallon Mesa jars. I like didn't even want to bother with trying to find them at thrift stores for really cheap. I just ordered some big 12 packs from Amazon. I'm like, I just need to get them here. We're gonna be like overflowing with milk soon and I don't have enough jars. So that's the only thing left that's still coming. But other than that, I think I have what I need. So she needs to hurry up and have her calf. I'm so excited. The next day. I see a calf. Oh my gosh, Charlotte, you did it. I didn't even bring the big camera out here. I'm just filming on my phone. Oh my goodness, honey. You did so good. Look at him. What a bull calf. Good job, Mama. Sweet. Oh, uh, he... Well, not want to go I'm over there. That's so crazy. He's brown. Like his mama.
It's been going so well milking Charlotte. She's the sweetest thing ever. We haven't been giving her her alfalfa pellets during the milking. Um, I, we've just been having her stand there. She stands without being tied. She stands without needing any grain. She just kind of falls asleep chewing her cud while we milk. And then afterwards, I give her her alfalfa pellets and whatever I'm gonna give her that day as like kind of a reward because that will even more train her to stand still for us. So I'm really thrilled with how she's doing. She's basically the perfect cow to start out with. Luke is still going to build a milking stanchion for me because I'll want it in the winter and we'll need it for AIing her or anything like that, any vet stuff. So, but I've been really enjoying it. I almost am like, I want to milk her twice a day because it's so much fun. But I know that later I'll be glad that we're just doing once a day when I'm like, when it's less of a novelty. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the new exciting things going on in the homestead and the little calf and all the new milking stuff. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here and stay tuned for the next vlog. I'm going to try to keep doing these more consistently because this is really fun and there's just so much going on lately. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.